Crafty family and welcome to another tutorial by She's So Crafty. For today's DIY project, we'll be creating a beautiful wall decor mirror inspired by a piece that I saw online at Kirkland's for $169. Now when I saw this mirror, I love the unique ironwork and it really caught my eye. So I knew that it would provide the perfect challenge for me to recreate using items from the Dollar Tree and low cost items from my local home improvement store. Now for your convenience, I provided the list of supplies and tools used to make this project in the description box below. Now I'm super excited to share this tutorial with you, but before we start, I wanted to say hello and welcome back to my fantastic subscribers and visitors to my channel. Now if you are a new visitor to my channel today and love to create fun and easy DIY projects on a budget, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also click that notification bell so you will be the first to know when a new DIY tutorial is ready to share with you. So now let's jump right into this project. Now here's the inspiration photo for this project. Now I've been wanting to do a mirror piece for a while and I thought this was really beautiful. Now I could use my tubing technique again so I gathered up my supplies and I accepted the challenge to make this mirror piece. Now for this project, we'll need two foam boards from the Dollar Tree, four eight by 10 mirrors from the Dollar Tree, some of this quarter inch irrigation tubing from Home Depot. I'm also using some of this half inch irrigation tubing from the Home Depot, or you can use two large hula hoops from the Dollar Tree. And also we're gonna use some bamboo skewers from the Dollar Tree, or you can get these from Walmart. Now the first thing we're going to do is to take our mirrors and we want to remove them from their frames. Now I will be taping a piece of paper on each mirror to protect them while I work and then I'll also use them as guides. Now we also want to keep that cardboard backing with the mirrors since we'll be using them for this project. So next we're going to grab one of those foam boards and we're going to determine the placement of our mirrors. Now we're going to place them on the foam board as shown here. Now once we like this placement, just go ahead and shift those mirrors to the side and we're going to mark a one inch edge. Now I'm just going to mark the border using my ruler and I'm gonna draw a line with a pencil. So then I'm gonna take those mirrors, I'm just gonna line those up with that line to make sure everything is nice and straight. Now if everything looks okay, just go ahead and set that foam board to the side and we're going to start adhering that cardboard backing to the mirrors. Now be sure to remove those metal clips prior to gluing them on. And then we're gonna use our high temp glue gun and we wanna apply the backing to each mirror. And now that all the mirrors are glued together, we wanna to go ahead and bring back that foam board so we can start adhering those mirrors to it. Now we're just gonna put those mirrors back on with that line we drew earlier and make sure everything is nice and straight. And then we're gonna place a generous amount of that high temperature hot glue to the back of each one of the mirrors. And then we're gonna start applying them in place like we previously laid out. Now we wanna make sure that we use a high temperature glue gun for this project. So it'll increase our working time and also it'll provide a better bond for your mirrors. And we just wanna make sure everything is nice and secure into place. 
Now on the other end of the board, what we're going to do is we're going to mark and draw another one of those one inch borders right at the edge of the mirror. And then once that line is drawn, go ahead and grab your protective mat and an X-Acto knife and we want to trim along that marked line. And then we can grab that second foam board and we want to place it underneath the mirror board. We want to make sure everything is aligned along the edges. And then we just want to copy that line. And then we're going to take our X-Acto knife and trim off the edge to match the first one. So now we want to flip both pieces over and separate the two pieces of foam board and we want to start to apply our high temperature hot glue one edge at a time until both boards are fully bonded together. And now that the boards are nice and bonded together and secure, we can just sit this to the side. Now we wanna grab our bamboo skewers and we're just gonna grab a handful out of the package. Now we'll be using these skewers to assist with the straightening of this black irrigation tubing. Now I really love this tubing for the flexibility and that iron-like texture. Now here's one of the long skewers from the Dollar Tree, but these are a little bit thick, so we'll have to use the standard size skewers. Now in this sketch, I determined that we'll need five pieces of tubing 18 inches long, and we'll also need two pieces of tubing 35 inches long. So we're going to go ahead and measure and cut our five pieces at 18 inches. Now we want to kind of hand straighten them as much as possible, but the skewers will do the job for this. So we want to grab our skewers and cut off the pointy edges, and then I want to start to feed them into the tubes. Now since the skewers are shorter than the tube, I will place a dab of hot glue on one end, but I recommend taping the two skewers together as well, and you'll see this later in this project. And here are our five tubes with the skewers inserted. We're just going to set these to the side. So now we're gonna cut two pieces of the tubing about 35 inches. Now since these are longer pieces, we're gonna need two to three skewers inserted into these. Now again, I'm just going to hot glue and tape them together. And I'm just using scotch tape to bond these. And once both are ready, we're just gonna go ahead and insert them into the tubes. And then we're just gonna set these to the side. So now we're gonna wrap our mirror board and we're gonna need to adjust that paper. So we're gonna fold up each edge about a quarter of an inch and this will accommodate the placement of the tubing. We're gonna fold up each edge and then tape it into place.
And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to mark the center point of each mirror on each one of the long sides. Now these will be the guides for our tubing. Now each center point will mark where the tubing will cross the middle of each mirror. And then I'm going to cut each sheet of paper in half at those marked points. And then again, I'm going to fold inward and tape it into place. And now I'm going to grab one of those tubing pieces and what I'm going to do is lay it along the path and measure and cut to the size of the mirror. And once it's cut to size, you want to glue it in place by placing a dot of hot glue at each end. And then once those ends are dry, you want to add a dab of hot glue in the center as well. And then what you want to do is just go ahead and continue to mark, cut, and glue three more of those 18 inch tubes on your frame. And here they are all in place. So now we're grabbing those two long tubes that we had and what we're going to do is adhere these together. Now I found that holding the two pieces snug together and running a bead of hot glue down the center, holding them together tightly until bonded gives you the best and cleanest finish. And so once the bottom portion is bonded, just go ahead and lay it down in the center of the mirrors and you want to mark where the top edge of the mirror is. And this is where you will stop gluing. So now that we've finished gluing them together, we want to make sure that the top part remains flexible. So we're going to pull out some of that excess skewer and once we get to the right point, we're just going to cut off all of that excess. We just want to make sure the top two portions are completely flexible. And now we can start to glue those center tubes to the frame and we're going to start at the bottom applying some hot glue at the bottom of the mirror frame. Now while this dries we're just going to play, place one of these uh, Dollar Tree clips on the bottom and we're going to hold it while we attach it to the remainder of those cross points. And we're just going to place a dab of hot glue on each one of those skewers that it crosses. and then let them all completely dry. And then after that gluing is done, just I just use my Dollar Tree hand broom to remove all those pesky little glue webs. All right, so now that everything is dry, um, we can go ahead and um, we can grab that half inch irrigation tubing. Now I only had one hula hoop, so I needed something similar to work with and I found this in the plumbing aisle along with the other tubing at the Home Depot. So I'm sitting the mirror to the side and we are going to cut a length that would create the side and arch border. In my case, I needed a total length of 90 inches long, but this also includes that bottom piece. Now I'm just going to manipulate it a bit and try to get it to curve as much as possible so it'll fit that arch. So now once we finish the shaping, we can add that mirror to the frame. Now we're going to start by aligning that tubing along the side of the mirror and trim any cross tubing that is not flush with the mirror's edge. We also want to make sure we leave about one inches longer at the bottom as seen here. 
And then we're gonna apply several inches of hot glue along the side and then just press that tubing snug against the mirror's edge. Now this is a really important because this tubing may show some resistance on laying flat, but if you press it into place, that glue will hold onto it. Now we do wanna make sure you hold it in place at least 30 seconds to a minute. And you can also use some clamps on the tubing to hold it in place while you work, which is a great idea. And then just go ahead and apply some glue to the rest of the length and then hold, press and clamp it into place the same way. And now we're just gonna repeat that process on the other side of the mirror. Now before gluing this down, you do wanna make sure that the arch that you're gonna be forming is nice and even at the top. And then we're gonna place that hot glue all along the side of the mirror and we're gonna press that tubing into place. and you wanna make sure this dries thoroughly. And once it is dry, we can start to work on the top of the piece. So I'm gonna just take those smaller pieces and I'm gonna add a little curving by hand on those tubes and I'm trying to determine the placement here, what looks good. And so once one side looks good, I'm just gonna mark it. I have a chalk pen here that wipes off, so I'm just gonna mark it there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my tape measure and I'm gonna measure from that mark down to the mirror's edge. In my case, it was six and a quarter inches. So I'm gonna take this measurement and copy it over to the other side so both sides are even. And then I'm just gonna to start to trim those center pieces down. And you wanna have a length so that they slightly overlap that arch. Then to attach the tubes, you wanna take your X-Acto knife and I'm gonna make a hole on the inside of that tubing where you marked and then insert it into the side. And once you do that on one side, you're just gonna repeat it for the other side. And now you wanna take that last 18 inch tube stick and we're gonna be cutting it to fit in the center. So I'm just gonna grab my ruler and I wanna make a mark in the center of the very top of that arch. And I'm gonna mark it with my chalk pen. And then I'm gonna make it on the hole at the very top for the tubing. And then just grab your tube, you wanna trim off that top edge and once you do that, you're just gonna insert it into the frame. And then you wanna measure and you wanna cut off the end where it meets the top of the mirror frame. And you just wanna adjust and make sure it fits good. And if it looks good, you can continue to the next step. Now before gluing it into place, we're going to trim off that foam board. So just go ahead and remove that piece that you haven't glued it in place yet. And you wanna grab your cutting mat and your X-Acto knife. And I'm just gonna trim off that foam board that's along that top edge of the mirror. Now just be careful not to cut your tubing here. And then once you cut off your excess pieces, just grab your glue gun and just make sure the two layers of foam board are still bonded together nicely.
And now just grab that piece that you cut for the center and you just want to stick it back into the top of the frame arch and then you want to glue it in place right in the center at the top of the mirror frame. And now we're just going to trim off that excess foam board on both sides of our frame. And then once everything is cut, just go ahead and lightly sand if you have a little bit of unevenness or jaggedness. So now we're going to work on the bottom of our frame. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and trim off the, ex the excess on the center tube so they're nice and flush with the edge of the mirrors. And then I cut a piece of that half inch tubing just slightly longer than that bottom edge. And then I take it and cut an exact fit in between those two side tubes. Now while you have that piece in place, just go ahead and mark those side tubes as well. And what we're gonna end up doing is cutting off the excess length of the side of the frame so it's even when, when the bottom tube is attached. And once the fit looks good, start applying that hot glue along the bottom edge and then go ahead and adhere that bottom tube into place. And here is the main frame all put together. So all we have to do now is just trim off that excess foam board on the bottom. And then once you remove it, just go ahead and lightly sand if needed. So now we're going to work on those center curved pieces. So I'm going to start by taking my ruler and I'm marking the center of that middle tube on each side as shown. Now this mark will be where the curved pieces will actually touch. And then I'm just gonna take my tubing and I'm gonna cut a piece so that curve meets that center dot in the center. And once you have your piece cut to fit, you wanna fit those corners really nice. So what you want to do is you wanna cut your corners at a point. And then you just start to apply hot glue in the corner and you can start applying your tubing into place on both ends. And then you want to cut another piece the same way and it's a good idea to clip it together in the middle and this will help with your placement. Now once this side is done, you just repeat this process on the other side. 
And here is how it looks. So now we're almost done and we're just gonna put on the finishing touches. Now to keep this aesthetically pleasing, we're gonna go ahead and paint those foam edges we cut with this black acrylic paint. Now I wanna make sure that I paint all of those foam edges all the way around the mirror frame and we wanna make sure we cover all of that texture in those cuts. Now to hang this piece, I'm gonna make a hanger for some Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree wire that I picked up. So I'm gonna cut a long piece and then I'm gonna double it up and twist it up together. And then I'm gonna take some pliers and I'm gonna grab an end of the wire and I kinda of wanna coil up the ends. Now this will give the glue something to grab onto. And once those ends are nice and coiled, you can just go ahead and fold it in half. And then you wanna place it in the center of the back of your mirror. And once it's nice and center, apply a generous amount of hot glue on each one of those coils and a little bit up, up the straight stem as well. And you wanna let this dry completely. And once it is dry to touch, you can remove, turn it over, remove all of your paper and you wanna clean your mirrors thoroughly with alcohol or glass cleaner. And now you can hang up your creation. Okay, this mirror, oh my goodness. I really love how this one turned out. Now I am such a huge fan of using this irrigation tubing and it really adds the perfect touch. It looks like iron and I love it in this project. Now this mirror design was over $160 online and I am so excited that I created it for under $10. And look, these Dollar Tree mirrors are always a winner in my book and they're so useful in so many ways. You guys have to let me know in the comments of what you think about this project and if you're gonna give it a try. Also, let me know what kind of high-end projects you would like to see me recreate. Listen, if you love DIYs on a budget, get this video a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Make sure that you're following She's So Crafty EE on Facebook for the latest new sneak peeks and giveaways. Thank you so much for visiting and checking out my tutorial today. If you like videos like these and don't want to miss the next one, make sure you're subscribed and click that subscribe button below and turn on that notification bell. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.